My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. You asked and I delivered again. 1969 Camaros are what you want. Here is an incredible example. Rally Sport Super Sport package. Uh, it's got a built 350 motor, air conditioning, uh, the gauges and console, power steering, power disc brakes. And this thing's been body off the frame restored. We have a photo album of this down to a bare shell. I mean, just a body shell. Every single component removed and the car was restored, all put back together to what we've got here today. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all those pictures and study the description. And that's where you'll find price tags on every single collector car we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, again, I have pictures of the restoration process taken down to a bare shell. So every component was removed. Everything under the car has been replaced, restored, rebuilt. I mean, all the bushings, the suspension, the shocks, the springs, uh, you name it, it's been done. Uh, it has a custom exhaust with a crossover pipe, a uh, Flowmaster mufflers. Uh, we have pictures of the brakes all re, you know, redone uh, before it's put back together. The covers off the rear end, it's got new gears in the back, uh, all new brake hardware. The e-brake is hooked up, uh, disc brakes in front. <clears throat> you look up at the motor, it's all fresh looking, Chevy orange, fuel pump, starter, all that looks fresh. Uh, it is a turbo 350 automatic, has a chrome pan, uh, the shift cable, and again, all that looks fresh. The U-joints have been replaced uh, on the drive shaft. Uh, the fuel tank was replaced and the sending unit. So underneath the car, uh, every part of it's been restored, replaced. Uh, the floors are all solid metal. When they had the car apart, they uh, showed one floor pan being welded in. Uh, so everything is all metal. There is no rust. Then the entire car was sprayed with uh, primer inside and out. Uh, and then they went on to paint it and put it back together. Car was finished in 2014. Uh, the paint job I'm looking at in front of me looks like it was done last night. It's beautiful, glossy. So let's check it out. So we have a cowl hood here, it's a metal hood, fits nice and square, no problems here, absolutely straight. I'm looking down the side of the car, I don't see any ripples. Got new 350 emblem, new marker lights, new emblems here, new correct antenna. It's all clean, the rocker molding's real nice, this door fits beautifully. This is all nice, I don't feel any bubbles or blisters. Lines up real nice, new door handles. It has the exterior trim package. That's the gutter moldings, the louvers, and the wheel well moldings. All of that looks new. Again, no issues. The body is excellent. It's all real nice. Right down behind the tires, it's all clean metal. It has front and rear spoilers. We've got bumper guards. Uh, the bumper, the tail lights, all this reverse lights all look like new. Now it's a rally sport, hidden headlights. That means they relocate the reverse lights down below the bumper. Otherwise reverse lights on a non-rally sport car is right in the tail light. All new glass, I can see the marking right here. So new window, new trim. Again, the body is excellent. No issues, sometimes going up the roof here, there's cracking or issues. I don't, I don't see any issues with the body whatsoever. Excuse me. The roof is all straight, it's all real nice. This door fits real nice, no bubbles, no damage, straight, no vinyl tops, it's all slick, hugger orange. I have a picture of the can of paint, so it has the paint codes for the orange and the black. This is hugger orange. New wiper arms, it said all new glass all the way around. It's got a custom grill, 
Got a little extra chrome on the grill. You got the hideaway lights, which you'll see them operate towards the end of the video. New lenses. These are the SS wheels. Yeah, they look like they're new. The wheel, the cap, the trim ring. Uh, tires, tires are new, so as the nubs on the tread. So the paint is buffed out smooth and glossy. I was just telling you about the body. Uh, as I was looking at the body, I didn't find any paint flaws. There probably is one somewhere that someone could find. Uh, there's a hairline crack right here. I mean, it literally looks like a hair. The glass lines up real nice. Shuts nice and solid. So the exterior of the car is pretty pristine. I'll call it a nine just to cover my butt, but I don't see anything wrong with it. It's beautiful. Got the SS stripes painted on real nicely. So why don't we uh, open it up, see what's inside. Let's see what we got in the trunk. Well, I can tell you we got a working trunk light. And the first thing I notice is the paint is beautiful. Under the trunk lid and the jam is gorgeous. You got the stickers, a new weather strip. The stripe continues right into the jam. Slick paint. It's even slick to the touch. Uh, so the inside of the trunk is all clean metal. It has that spatter finish paint. Got the big rubber mats in here. There's a brand new tire underneath this cover. I can feel the nubs on the tread. Uh, so it's just a nice clean trunk compartment. Looks like probably a new wiring harness as well. No jack. I don't see a jack in there. Well, I peek inside the window here, since it's a nice, clear new window. All the trim inside's real nice, and you got a set of six by nine speakers, but just very neat and tidy. The door jams repainted real nice, new weather strips, window seals. Of course, new door panel, armrest, the window cranks, the door handle. The lock knob, all that's been replaced. Looking across the dash, looks like everything's new as well. You got new dash pad, all new instrument bezel, all this plastic and the chrome and the vents. Uh, it's all in really nice shape. Has the factory tachometer. The heater control panel looks new. Got a retro stereo down below that. And then we have the console with the horseshoe shifter and the pack of gauges there. And all this looks new. The lenses, uh, the handle, the AC vents. It all looks new. Glove box light works. Got a liner, got a uh, owner's manual. Interior lights are working. And down on the floor, carpet was replaced. Has reproduction floor mats. The seats were rebuilt. They got new springs in the seats, new cushions. So they're nice and firm, and it's re reupholstered. Steering wheel, I forgot to mention, is new, and the shift, uh, not the shift lever, the turn signal lever, and it's a tilt column. <clears throat> so, of course, the back seat's new, and all the seat belts look like they're a reproduction. They've been replaced. The headliner's been replaced few little wrinkles in the headliner. It's, I've seen much worse, but uh, but it, it's nice. Dome light works, visors, mirror. Uh, that's all new. It's got a really nice interior. Headrests are reupholstered. Kick panels look new. Boy, this car is shiny. <laughs> I'm looking at the reflection. It, I can see our, our ceiling like, uh, like a mirror. So it's got a 350 motor with some <clears throat> goodies on it. Pro Comp aluminum heads. We do have a list of everything in the motor. It's got uh, roller rockers. It's got double uh, valve springs. Uh, I, I don't have all the specs on me, but uh, there is a folder of receipts that will go with the car. And then it has the EnduraShine intake that's polished like chrome. Uh, dual feed Holley carburetor looks new, hiding under the air cleaner. HEI ignition, uh, coated 
headers, some nice tall aluminum valve covers, new fuel pump, Modern AC system's been adapted to the original unit, but this is all updated stuff. Heater control valve is new. Alternator still has a sticker on it. The battery is secured properly, bolted down. Radiator has been replaced, has the stickers on it. Uh, it. Has both horns up front. And then we've got power steering hiding down there. And then we got power brakes with the cadmium plated booster. Wiper motor looks fresh. The squirters are hooked up, has hood insulation pad. Looks like it's got everything. And these must be electric wiper or uh, headlight door conversions. I don't see any of the vacuum stuff. That's why they open and close so well. So you got a hot 350 motor, you got air, power steering and brakes. So like I said, this car is taken down and completely restored from the ground up. The paperwork said 2014. Now that I'm looking at the car, I mean, it looks like it was just done. Yeah, I don't know how many miles have been put on. It looks like it shows about 2,100 miles on the speedometer, and that all looks new. So that's probably all it has on it since it's been finished. It's got all the options. got the colors. got the stripes. Uh, it checks all the boxes. So we know these don't last very long on our website so better get to volo cars quickly uh, i gave you my impression of the car but plenty of ways on our website to contact the salesman if you have questions or concerns make sure you talk to them they'll help you the best they can they can help get this delivered to your driveway they can help you finance this car that's all at volocars.com hope you enjoyed the video Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, but make sure you click on that bell icon so you're notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.